Hello and welcome to the reading for the collective for October 2nd, 2021. Reading for the collective. October 2nd. And we have King of Cups and the Knight of Coins. Reading for the Collective, and the Eight of Wands. Collective for October 2nd, 2021. Energies for the, oh, let me pick that up. Energies for the collective for October 2nd and energies for the collective. Energies for the collective for October 2nd, 2021. Energies for the collective October 2nd. Wow, okay. That's a whole lot. But we're going to take them. So these two. All right. So we have the first card out was the King of Cups. So that is a very emotionally stable uh, type energy. This could also represent a male water sign in your life um, this person is very financially secure um, the source of this person's uh, wealth or security if you will is coming from this cup you can see the light of the spirit they're shining out from that cup it's like that king is not even holding that cup. It's like that cup is just kind of like levitating in the air in front of that king. Um, so there's almost like a magical quality to this person. I'm noticing the um, pattern in the back of the uh, throne chair there, which kind of reminds me of the pattern on the Three of Pentacles card. Uh, then we have the Knight of Coins, uh, which is this person, this knight is off to find their fortune in coins so like that's a very large coin that that knight has there and it looks to be that horse looks to be galloping through fields of lilac so be sure to look up lilac there will be additional messages for you there um, also it looks like uh, your money situation is going to be getting a lift spiritual lift see all that spiritual energy around that horse and in those lilac bushes there it's like you're galloping off toward your fortune I'm seeing like a partial skull in the um, right here 
so like to me that represents like a transformative like a death card energy like a death and rebirth and you know surrounding your finances uh, you may be considering you know changing um, jobs or you may be going through some sort of a transformative process in the job that you currently have so then we have um, the Eight of Wands. So in this card, this figure is like climbing that staircase. And those wands appear to be, I think they're rubies. So let be sure to look up rubies. Um, so it's autumn time. So this that figure is, so traditionally fall is harvest time, right? So these... Um, ideas that have been stepping stones in your life or that have elevated you um, are you know it's coming to harvest time for those ideas and um, lots of uh, fiery reds there and orange type energy in that card <clears throat> so wands are like speak to um, like inspired ideas and inspired actions and stuff like that so you may have um, you know taken eight concrete steps towards you know your dreams or towards the successful fulfillment of whatever your dreams are so then we have inspiration and courage So it looks like that figure is very, you know, just content, just being themselves, um, not trying to fit into anybody else's pattern, um, but having the courage to be yourself. See, this, these swirls are echoed in the candle smoke that's also echoed in the... Um, crystal ball there so the the woman or the witch in that um, card also has a cat with her so you may have a cat or uh, some other small companion animal and then we have make a move so it looks like these two witches are dancing in this stream and it's like they're doing some sort of a magical spell with these um, sprigs it looks like and as they're doing it it's like these fish are like dancing out of the water like with them a very interesting um, card so it suggests that um, so for you to put your energy out there in whatever direction you, you know, want to make a move in. And it's sort of like these two are kind of like the, the, the piper. It's like these, like nature is responding to the wishes of those witches. So make your wishes known and make a move. Okay, so we have number 44, universal love. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. Number 12, change. The frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. 34. Passion. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within the intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. Number 36, prosperity. The frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, 
soul and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and to celebrate and enjoy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides. Number 20, discernment. The frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. Number nine, allowance. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way. Without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. Number three, solar plexus chakra. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. Number one, root chakra. Frequency of the root chakra, the red flower of life, stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane, both in our bodies as well as in the physical world. So those are the messages that popped out. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so very much for watching and you have a wonderful day.